Welcome back. So, in my last video, we talked about the grammar, part two. We talked about the two verb positive and the subject pronoun. And then we completed this part two, okay? And then we jumped to the page 124 and we did some practice there. So, here I complete the sentences with R, A, S, or M. Can you help me to do this? Okay, so I'm Mike, so we just say, right? I am Mike. My name is Hannah. My name is, oh, you are early, so we are using the full form, you are. It is, it's, it is 7894132456. Now let's come to the part C, part D. Okay, so here, 1.6, listen and repeat the pronouns and contraction. Everybody, close your books, listen to the listening and repeat after it. 1.6, 1, I, I'm, 2, you. Your three he he's four she she's five it it six we we're Seven, they, there. Okay, <clears throat> now let's practice, okay? So let's come to the D, 1.7. It says listen, you have to listen, and say the contraction. For example, I aim. What is the contraction for I am? The contraction for I am is um. Um, okay? Let's do it. One. I am. I'm. Two. You are. Yeah, you are. You're. You're. Three, he is. He's. He's. Now you try, guys. Four, she is. She's. Five, it is. It's. Six, we are, we're, seven, they are, there. Okay, let's come to that part seven. Stand up and speak to other students. Okay, in your home, you should stand up and work with your brother, sister, or your sibling. Okay, so how you how you how are you gonna work? So you're gonna introduce yourself like hi, hi your your sister name or brother name. Hi, Carla, how are you? Then the thanks, fine thanks, and you. So just make a short conversation. Okay, that's good. This comes up pronunciation. In fact, that is pronunciation. Some people say pronunciation. I think the best way to say it is pronunciation. A, 1.8. Listen and repeat the words and sound. Okay, so as you are looking to these symbols, these symbols, these are the symbols, okay? 
So, and you can see the sound or the hear sound. You can hear the sound in these words. I want you to listen, repeat after the sound, okay? I'm gonna play it two times for you and then you have to repeat it. This. Point eight. Fish. It. It. This. Tree. E. He. We. Meat. Cat. Ah. Ah. Am. Am. Thanks. Thanks. Egg. Z egg sound, okay? Egg. Egg. Very. Very. Well. Well. A sound. Train. A. A. Day. They. Nay. Nay. This is I sound. Okay? Like. I. 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 And bye. Bye. Okay? Good. Now listen and repeat. 1.8. Fish. Fish. It. 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 This. This. Tree. E. e. He. He. We. we. Meat. Meat. Cat. A. Uh. Uh. Big M. M. That. Thanks. Eight. Listen again. Fish. It. It. But this is the A sound. It. It. This. This. E sound. Tree. Tree. E. e. He, he, we, meet. So this is a long one, okay? Long ball. Cat. Uh, uh. M. M. Thanks. Thanks. And this is short ball, egg. okay? Short E. Egg. Egg. Very. Very. Well. Well. Egg sound. Train. Train. A. A. They. they. Nay. Nay. This one is I sound. Bike. I. Bike. I. I. Hi. Bye. Okay. Let me tell you a trick. So there is a. Uh, let me give you just a tip. Okay. So whenever there is a one syllable word, like uh, there is vowel plus consonant plus e, so it's usually. I. For example, we can say, right, bike. So as I told you, right, so if you have I plus a consonant plus E, so it is always I sound. Like, like, right, bite. Understand? But remember, if there is one syllable but there is no I, but then it forms a consonant plus a, plus a vowel like E, so uh, it's it's not always I. It's something really A or something like it. It's like B A K E. It's big. We can't say it's bike, right? Okay. For for more for more sound, you can go to the page one hundred six six to listen. To listen more about the sounds, okay, and learn more. Now let's come to the uh, word stress. You know what is word stress, right? Hmm? So whenever there is uh, emphasizes, so in that section it's going to be stressed. So always the stress part is used loudly, okay and slowly, right? It's because we have to focus on it. Like, sorry, saw, okay? So the focus in saw. And then by here, and sa, okay? So it means that whenever you say the word, so what you have to do is you have to focus on the word like, goodbye, see? 
goodbye. So you can say good fast by slowly. Bye. Okay, it's Saturday. Saturday. So that's just where this is on Saturday. Saturday. Okay? That's nice. So let's come to listen and underline the stressed syllable in these words. Okay? Let's do this. I am going to play 1.9 lesson and underline the stressed syllable in these words. I am going to play and now you have to find out where is the stress in each word. Okay? 1.9 1.9 Airport Computer Email Karate Hotel Museum Salad Tennis Pasta Internet Basketball Sandwich Let's listen again. One point nine Airport. Computer. Email. Karate. Hotel. Museum. Salad. Tennis. Pasta. Internet. Basketball. Sandwich. Okay, now I am going to tell you where is the stress, okay? And now we have to compare my answers with your answer, okay? That's right, let's do it. <clears throat> okay, so the first word, air, it's airport, so air, there is the stress is an A. In the second computer, it's in pew, in email, so the stress is on e, in karate, it's kara, ra, in hotel, this tell is the stress, museum, so z is in stress, and sa, salad, and tennis, pasta, internet, basketball, and sandwich here, so these are the stress words. So now compare my answer with your answer and see, are you right or not right okay write the words from the c in the chart so this is the part c now we are going to put the one one word right in here okay you guys now you're going to help me how to do this okay now let's go to the food one so what comes in food so let's go with karate is food oh uh, no hotel no museum mm -hmm. salad yes the salad is food okay let's write in small teas Okay, so sal salad and pasta, am I right? Yeah, and sandwich. It's food. Now let's come to technology. So, computer is technology, computer, email, mm, internet. Right? Okay. Sports, karate, and uh, tennis, and basketball. Okay? So places like airport is a place, right? Museum is a place. And 
ਵੀ ਹੋਰ ਚੱਲ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੋਰ ਚੱਲ ਰਿਹਾ ਇਸ ਦਾ ਯੈਸ ਓਕੇ ਈ ਇਨ ਫੇਅਰਸ ਰਾਈਟ ਮੋਰ ਵਰਡਸ ਥੈਟ ਯੂ نو ਇਨ ਈਚ ਕਾਲਮ ਹਾਊ ਡੂ ਯੂ ਪ੍ਰੋਨਾਂਸ ਇਟ ਓਕੇ ਸੋ ਨਾਓ ਯੂ ਟੇਕ ਅ ਚਾਂਸ ਟੂ ਗੈਟ ਟੇਕ ਅ ਫਿਊ ਮਿਨਟਸ ਐਂਡ ਥਿੰਕ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਦ ਵਰਡਸ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਵਾਂਟ ਇਟ ਜਸਟ ਐਡ ਦ ਵਰਡਸ ਹੀਅਰ ਓਕੇ ਥੈਟਸ ਗੁੱਡ ਸੋ ਨਾਓ ਲੈਟਸ ਗੋ ਟੂ ਦ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਪਾਰਟ so if you guys have any question you can write the question in comment below and do let me know what's your question okay okay now let's come to part 4 vocabulary vocabulary base of the week number from from 0 to 20 can you tell me what are the days of the week or can you count from 0 to 20 if you can count from 0 to 20 that's fine otherwise we will go and see the days of the week and also the numbers from 0 to 20 okay be with me we will continue the lesson now everybody look at the picture can you remember what mike and hana say yeah maybe that was a phone number right so let's see what is a phone number Yeah, can you can you read the phone number? It is 7894132456. So that's the phone number. You know why we why you left spaces here? So we are going to read the phone number like this or you can go 33 then 4. Okay? Like 7894132456. So that's the way we can we read the phone number. Now you tell me what is your phone number, okay? Now everybody go to page 148. 148, okay? And uh we're going to start with the days and numbers, right? So just we're going to do the part 1 and 2. Let's go to page 148. Okay guys. Now complete days of the week, okay? Complete the days of the week. with the letters now you see the letter here so these are the letters now we are going to complete the days of the week here okay let's do it so number one is monday so monday i just choose this one m and put it here monday okay monday let's use the red one so tell me what comes here can you tell me excellent very good so we can use t here tuesday tuesday what comes here excellent very good so w comes here wednesday wednesday so here we use this one thursday and here we use fr friday right so remember everything must be capital okay friday and this one excellent so we can use saturday s and the last one is sunday very good now let's listen and check our answers okay 0 1 2 3 Monday Tuesday Wednesday right Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday Very good. Now let's come to that useful phrases. Uh it says that it says that the weekend if if someone says that i see you at the weekend at the weekend so it means that you're talking about a sunday and saturday or saturday sunday okay if you're talking about a week so it means that we're talking about monday to friday okay so the monday to friday if you want to ask someone the, the days of the week or what is it what is it, what day is today or what day is today so you can ask what day is today like what day is today 
uh, Ahmad or what day is today John or Johnny. Uh, in this case, I can say that today is Friday. So it's Friday, right? But if you're asking about the tomorrow, then you can say what day is tomorrow. So tomorrow is Saturday. What day was yesterday? Yesterday was Thursday. What day is it? So we can say what day is it? It's Friday. Okay. So if you want to wish someone to have a good weekend, so you can say have a good weekend. So in the respond, so he or she say that you too. All right. Or, or you can say, see you on Monday. Remember? See you on Monday. But at some point, maybe you can hear this, this way, right? In this sentence, like, see you Sunday, right? So it's also common in some, some places to say, see you Monday or see you Saturday. They don't say, see you on Monday. So they omit or delete the proposition on. So the next thing says that capital letters, it means that days of the week, begin with a capital letter. Remember, we're not using the small letter to start the days of the week. We always use with the capital letter. Tuesday starts with the double, with a capital T, okay? Not the small T. Okay, now you're gonna go to the next part. Perfect. So let's come to the number. Number zero to one. Okay. Match the words with the numbers. So I'm going to give just one minute. Uh, yeah, probably around the one minute or less than that. So you can pause the video. Okay. Do this by yourself and then you will come back. Okay. That's nice. Okay. Now let's do this, okay? Match the words with the numbers. So there are, there are some words and there are some numbers, okay? The words are missing. We're gonna just match them, okay? So this is zero, one, two, three, four. So what comes here? So maybe this one comes here, right? So we'll go with the five, five. And then we go six, then seven, so the word seven comes here. Let's cross this. Seven. And eight, nine, ten. What comes here? Eleven. Very good. So we do this. Then you're going to obey this one. Eleven. Then we'll have twelve here. So this is T-W-E-L-V-E. So we are going to cross this to eleven. Then 13, 14, and then here we have got 15. Right? So we are going to omit this too. 15, 16, 17, and this is 18. Yay. Right? 18. So let's wait this one too. 19. Last word is 20. Right? Now you tell me, guys. So are we right or not right? Okay. Do did you do it correctly? I hope you I hope you do it right. Okay, you remember that word before that, that symbol? The symbol? Hmm? I. So it always means what? It means always. So like if there is I, then double E. So you should remember, right? So it means double E. Right? So remember after the 14 or 13, we have the same symbol in each where in each word. So it means that, so whenever you say 13, so the E must be long. We have to stress it, right? Because you know that, right? Because it must be different, right? We have, we have to create a different shape between 20 or uh, 15 or 50, right? So 50 with CY and 15 with double E. So let's uncheck. Okay, let me play that. Let me play it and we're gonna check if you're right or not, right? The fun point eleven. Zero. One. You're right, one. Two. Three. Four. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. The last one, forty. Okay, let's come to the part C. Cover the words and say the number. Okay, phone number. So. If you're saying your phone number to someone or explain your phone number, we say the digits, the digit, digit means number, okay? Digits separately. So, so let's see. This is like this, okay? Three and then four. We can say seven, nine, four, one, nine, three, eight. For example, nine, six, seven, zero, okay, um... Okay, so I don't know whose who's phone number is this. Let's, let's try this. Okay, this is the phone number. Now we're going to try this. 967-343-4589. That's the phone number. Now you tell me, guys, what is your phone number? Hmm? Yeah. What's your phone number? Can you tell me your phone number? Yeah. So try to say. Okay. So how you can how you read or how you say your phone number. Remember, you have to say each digit number separately. Now let's go back to the page. Page number. I don't know which page was it. Let's see me read those. I think it was page number seven. So let's come to here. Let's come here, okay? Um, 1.12. Listen and say the next day or the next number, okay? Now we're going to try. We're going to practice, okay? So let's practice. I'm going to play the listening for you. The listening will say the number or the date of the week. You have to say the next day or the next number. One point twelve. Okay. Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday, right? Wednesday. Excellent. 18, 19. Yeah, today's over. 20, excellent. 20. Tuesday, Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Thursday. Excellent, Thursday, right. 8, 9. Ten. Very good. Ten. Thirteen. Fourteen. Excellent. Right. Fifteen. Fifteen. Well done. Friday. Saturday. Mm -hmm. Very good. Sunday. Yes. Excellent. Sunday. Sunday. Monday. Nice. Tuesday. Yes, Tuesday. Very good. 10. Yes. 11. Very good. Yes. 12. 12. 16. 17. Yes. What? 20? Oh my god. Now. 18. It's 18, yeah. 9. Okay. Airport. Very good. Let's come to the next part. What is your phone number? If you want to ask someone to know the phone number, you can ask him or her what is your phone number, okay? 
or uh, or you can say what day is today or you can say what day is tomorrow right okay can you tell us your phone number excellent thank you so much okay and what is your what day is today yeah today's saturday excellent and uh, you tell me what day is tomorrow yeah very good tomorrow is saturday sunday excellent 